If you're interested in making films with your action camera, check out Action Camera Filmmaking. It's on Amazon right now in paperback and for Kindle. And uh, if you're running low on money, there's also an economy version of it. So check that out. And if you're new to YouTube, I have a book called The YouTube Producer's Handbook, also on Amazon in Kindle and paperback formats. Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters, Nathan Brandon Masters Tech. In 2017, even though I wasn't as productive on YouTube as I would have liked to have been, I was still creating. As a matter of fact, 2017 was possibly one of my most creative years ever. I revitalized the Epitaph Bread and Salt comic book line, published the first issue of Victor Lock Demon Hunter, finally got around to publishing the Blastback role playing game, and you guys know about the YouTube Producers Handbook, as well as action camera filmmaking. All of that was published in 2017. I'm working on a manga and I'm still editing Transit which was shot in 4K for 1080p delivery. All of these projects have one thing in common. The 2012 15 inch non-retina i7 MacBook Pro which I used to create all of this stuff in some way shape or form. It has a 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor 16 gigs of RAM, and two graphics cards, an NVIDIA Geoforce GT and the Intel HD Graphics 4000. It is running the latest version of High Sierra and I haven't had any problems yet, but fingers crossed. Another thing about this machine is it's still upgradable. You can add your own SSD and memory and not have to pay the Apple premium. And while I would love to have a 2016 or 17 13 inch i7 MacBook Pro for traveling, when it comes to ports, this machine has it covered. This machine rocks an SD card slot, a USB 2 and 3 port, AV jack, a headphone jack, an Ethernet port, and a freaking Firewire 800 port. This could possibly be all the modern Mac ports ever. And it still has good old fashioned MagSafe, which to be honest, has saved this machine quite a number of times. Of course, I edit in Final Cut Pro, still super optimized even for this five-year-old machine. Fast background rendering allows you to keep working as rendering is going on, well, in the background. As far as creating is concerned, this machine is definitely my daily driver. From art to writing or editing, if I do it, it's probably done on this machine. Now, I tend to shoot in 4K and then deliver in 1080p, but if I wanted to edit in 4K, it's good to know that I can and not have a lot of problems doing so. While Apple would prefer that you don't, this machine is fully capable of editing 4K footage. As a matter of fact, some of the 2011s could edit 4K footage. Slowly, but they could do it. All that said, when it comes to travel, I'm not a fan. It is big and it is kind of bulky. Even the 2013 models are a little bit slimmer and trimmer than these. But if this is something that interests you, here's a few caveats. This machine does indeed have an SD card slot, but it's very sensitive. Sometimes you have to jiggle the card around there a little bit to get it to connect. It seems to work better with some cards than others. But having an SD card slot allows me to import two cards at once. I can have one in the card slot and another in the adapter. Typically if I'm using an action camera along with my G7, this is how I offload the footage. Another thing, Apple doesn't make these machines anymore, so you're going to be getting them refurbished or from eBay, which is where I got mine. I paid $800 for mine. There are some great deals on this computer right now. Now make sure you're getting a mid-2012. The early 2012 is a 2011. The late 2012 is a retina screen. You want the non-retina 2012 i7 MacBook Pro. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We do tech and camera reviews, art and drawing videos, as well as short and feature length films. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, 
go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when I upload. Guys, I want to grow this channel this year, and I know we can do it, so let's get it. Nathan Brandon Masters, Austin. Awesome.